It's Get Well Wednesday, and it's brought to you by the American Diabetes Association. Visit nodiabetesbyheart.org to learn the top four questions to ask your doctor about diabetes and your heart. That's no, K-N-O-W, diabetesbyheart.org. Our doctor today is Dr. Don Brown. Good morning, Dr. Don Brown. Good morning, Tom. How are you this morning? I'm good. She has two best-selling, she's a two-time best-selling author, um, and talking about ADHD. First of all, your article on blackamericaweb.com is is, uh, is is so good. I highly recommend uh, talking about myths and facts about ADHD. I'm going to skip uh, about the diagnosis and what ADHD is and all of that and get right to the questions of what's true and what's, a, uh, and what's not true. Uh, is it true that kids with ADHD can never pay attention? Is that a myth or a fact? That is a myth. And when you have absolutes in a statement, you always want to question it. So, no, kids with ADHD can pay attention. They usually like to pay attention when things that have, they have a, like a good interest in or things that they enjoy. But it takes a lot of effort to pay attention with things that may not necessarily interest them or bore them. Um, and so that's why it's not, it's hard to distract kids or prevent kids from, you know, gaming, for example, because they're really engaged and gaming, uh-huh. but when it's time to do homework, you know, they don't probably don't want to pay attention because, right. you know, they're will, tired. Will <laughs> kids eventually grow out of ADHD? Myth effect. That is a myth. Um, ADHD is a chronic condition, which means that it's lifelong. It's also a spectrum condition. So what that means is that um, there are mild, moderate, and severe symptoms of ADHD. So when you read about these things, you'll, you'll find that the evidence shows that 50% of children who are diagnosed with ADHD may not necessarily manage their condition when they're adults, but a part of that is, well, what type of ADHD do they have? Are they actually functioning with behavioral techniques that are effective to manage their ADHD? Do they have mild symptoms where they don't require certain treatments? So it really depends upon an individual's journey of how the ADHD is impacting their lifestyle. It's not just a, it's not, not just a childhood condition. No, it's not. That's a fact. It's adult. That's a myth. Yeah. So adults out there, there's 8.2 million of us, because I have ADHD as well. We have ADHD. But the concerning part about that is that majority of the adults are not aware. So, yes, it's a chronic lifestyle condition. So if you've been diagnosed with ADHD as a child, it is 99.9% sure that you probably still have the condition. Mm. But a lot of adults, what they choose to do is choose professions that will actually cater to their condition. So these are not people who are sitting at desk. These are people who are constantly on the go, moving about, so that their inattention doesn't interfere with how they're functioning. Like comedians, like me. <laughs> is it true <laughs> or, is it, or, is it, or is it false that ADHD is caused by eating too much sugar? That is a myth. It is Mm. false. Yes, the studies are conflicting in this too, but there is no evidence that shows us that sugar or the overconsumption of sugar causes ADHD. What sugar may do is actually increase insulin or increase our energy levels, but they're not increasing the symptoms of ADHD. Mm. So that's what parents are seeing. They're seeing an oversight kid because of their energy levels, but not because of ADHD symptoms themselves. Does more it occur common- more in, ch- in uh, children, uh, uh, males or females? Yeah, that was going to be my next Yeah, question. so back in the day, we, we find that there were more boys that were diagnosed. But as of the last three or four years, we're finding that girls are actually meeting up. So this is around a 50-50% chance. So 50-50 ratio, excuse me, of boys to girls are being diagnosed with ADHD. What we didn't understand was that girls predominantly have the inattentive type. So these are girls that are dazing off in a space. They may not necessarily be paying attention, but they're making good grades. So with boys, they're commonly presenting with um, observable features of ADHD. So they're very hyperactive. They may be impulsive. But I don't want to stereotype that because some boys can have inattentive types or symptoms and girls can have hyper hyperactive symptoms, but it's very important to understand what symptoms and how they present so you can best diagnose and make sure that your children receive the proper management. Okay. Uh, Dr. Don Brown, you're going to be around because I know we got plenty of questions 
from parents yes. and adults and, and adults well who are who are dealing with ADHD for the next for the next hour. Yes, I will be happy to answer questions. Thank you. Okay. I don't know what your first appointment is, but you might be a little late. <laughs> Cuz it's going to be a lot of questions. All right? No problem. Thank, Thank you, you for helping us out on Get Well Wednesday.